Welcome to the Juicy Channel, guys. If you are new, hi, babe. If you are a family member, hello, Dase. So, you guys know what day it is today. It's a Thursday. So, what does that mean? It's controversial topic type of day. So, guys, aha, let's get into it. So, today, before I proceed, if you guys didn't know, I have a twin star. A twin star. A mirror image. So we've got. What's up? <laughs> we've got my sister here today, guys. If you didn't know I was a twin, then I am a twin. She's just two years older than me. Twinish. Because twinish. God just be like that. God just be like that. Gives you a twin that's two years older than you are. Twinish. What the? But anyway, guys, so what we are doing today is dealing with um, assumptions. It's basically a sister tag, but we are tackling assumptions about Christians. What people assume about Christians. How do you feel about this topic? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I would have loved to know them beforehand. Sadly, I don't know them. Yes, guys. She doesn't know. Oh I decided she was going to be surprised. I know them beforehand because they were posted on my social media platforms. But she don't know nothing. 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 That's not fair, by the way. I'm just going to put that out there. It's not fair. But bring it on. Let's do this thing. Okay, let's get into it. Um, assumption number one is straightforward and straight to the point it says they are judgmental <laughs> <laughs> so christians are judgmental oh, what do you say some are i think it's narrow-mindedness though not judgmental like just narrow-minded they're not open to openness and you know just they're not open to new things they're not open to people being different they're not open to the fact that people actually have different revelations that's what i think Okay, guys, my opinion, Christians tend to be judgmental. Very. I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you because if you don't do it like they do it, then it's a problem. You're an outcast already. We cast you out. You understand? If you're yeah, under us, guys, even if you're doing something good, do you understand? If you don't do it like they do it, it's wrong. So they want you to conform to some kinds of standards or anything but agreed guys Very i feel like christians are judgmental christians please stop, stop. being judgmental stop it stop it stop it <laughs> stop it we don't like it no we don't we don't like it okay well. let's let's move on to the next one guys oh. Ash, i'm gonna read them as they are get yeah, guys it says um most of them they're totally different from what they preach and mm. Secondly, I think they are hypocrites. They will tell you about old laws of Moses and new laws of the New Testament because I asked the other Christian here, Ukuba, why don't they obey Isabata? It's in the Old Testament. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what you say? That's a lot. I don't know who you are, but damn, the Christians, you know, <laughs> like, that's so, that's a lot. But I do want to say, yes, sometimes we tend to be very hypocritical about so many things. Like I said, it goes back to my narrow-mindedness. And guys, if you're a Christian who's all that, that PJ's family just said, stop like listen revelation is open to people but it's you cannot take from the bible what suits you and utilize it when it suits you best because the old testament is a time of the law and the new testament is a time of grace what happens is jesus doesn't say old testament be banished and be non-existent it just says if you love people more you won't have to face all the lawful things that are lawful things like if I love my neighbor like I love myself then I wouldn't want to kill or steal from my neighbor I wouldn't want to do any bad thing for my neighbor that's what it is law and grace 
are not necessarily different things. Grace is just there to. That. Just to, it's sort of there to complement you guys. know in fact it's there to bridge like, the gap that yes. was created by the laws okay so if you know a hypocritical christian just love them because you know what i realized actually is the fact that i'm pursuing my own heaven i'm in love with god for myself not for my neighbor so i'm going to do what i think christ wants from me and I'm going to be open and alert to revelations that the Holy Spirit and God revealed to me. And I'll pray for my neighbor. You know, I'll pray for them to actually experience the true kind of Christianity without being hypocritical. It's a very sensitive issue. Don't go out there, by the way, and point at your neighbor and be like, you hypocrite, you hypocrite. It's not, not really hard. But consider... The fact that people are different sometimes different doesn't mean bad it just means you just have to sometimes celebrate the difference but without stepping on people's toes I think the most important thing that prevents all of these other things she said or he said is just when you love your neighbor you pray for them when you see something wrong you pray that God gives them a revelation you don't impose your revelation because truth is you could find out that this person also has their own narrow-mindedness when it comes to Christianity of which some, uh, some, uh, someone else doesn't understand um, and they have to be open to the fact that our revelations are different okay guys my opinion in most cases yes we are hypocrites and sometimes I want to tell you this it's not a bad thing sometimes you know why I'm saying this because sometimes if I fail to do something it does not mean I cannot tell you what's the right thing to do because I'm still failing do you understand? I'm still a work in progress mm -hmm. and you're still a work in progress. Sometimes you might catch it faster than I can, but it does not make me a bad person. Nope. So there's good and bad to anything. But guys, I know, I know, I know, I know that it's wrong to be hypocrites, but sometimes it has its own benefits, I guess. Like that's what I could possibly say. And guys, um, if you're a Christian and you're a hypocrite, and I say pray for yourself. <laughs> But I'll pray for you too. Pray for, yes, we'll definitely pray for you. Also, he said something about us having it is your age, and that is a heart of stone. Guys, um, there's somewhere I think in the Bible where it says we should pray, Woody, we should get the heart of the Holy Spirit. It is yoga moya. And there's a song. Yeah. Okay, guys. Woo. Okay, I didn't see that one coming. Okay, <laughs> let's proceed. This one, guys, it's coming up for the second time at you. Christians and hypocrites. What is so same word up group? <laughs> same whatsapp group christians and hypocrisy and then she says okay let me rephrase born again christians are hypocrites uh that's very direct and then she goes on to say i've had a lot of such encounters with them or better yet those who claim they are i like that one that you can say you are something but it doesn't mean you are exactly i can say i'm a born again christian that's why the bible says test the spirit yes it's only the actions and the spirit and that individual that can truly attest whether that person is truly born again because if you're a born again christian you don't impose you love and you if, don't judge you don't judge if you're a born again christian you're open to hearing people because before you you're slow to speak yes quick to listen and slow to anger great and unfailing it, love so if you know someone like that just make sure that you yourself spiritually are awoke awoke and alert to certain spirits sensitive that's the yeah. word sensitive to spirits then you'll know because the english says actions speak louder than words and i think that's true yeah you'll know them by the fruits they bear that somewhere fruits in the bible of the spirit. you'll know them by the yes, fruits that's they bear. how you know a christian is a christian and i was reading a verse later on like during the week it said you can never see uh, if a tree is okay, like a healthy tree producing bad crops. Yeah. You can never see a bad tree producing, producing good, good crops. crops. Mm. So see them by the crops they produce. It's all in the fruits, Baba. Okay, guys. My opinion in this case, 
we getting this now for the second time christians are hypocrites but then she goes on to say um it's possible that it's those who claim to be christians mm. and i totally agree with my twin star over here guys if um if you are christian mm. and you are a hypocrite <laughs> i don't want to say thunder strike you but <laughs> you know, i don't want to say thunder strike you but you know what guys you said it though I'm so sorry <laughs> but anyway guys if you are a christian you know what it so happens like how my sister was saying it that sometimes even you who's not a christian when you see someone going into the house of the lord don't assume Soon. that they are born oh again oh my god okay a, um, a, a church is not a place for holy people it's a place Refuge. for crazy people. It's a hospital for insane a people. Camp. So don't assume that when you see someone walk into the house of the Lord. Like I was saying, you guys, um, e, you need to have a discerning spirit. That's what the word she was looking for. Yeah. You need to have a discerning spirit and know that Christians are not perfect. They are work in progress now. Nah, and like the Bible says, we work out our own salvation. That means that if I have a revelation that I'm not wearing pants, I have no right to say to you guys, stop wearing pants like, because that's my thing. That's between me and my God. Stop imposing. Stop imposing your beliefs and your revelations on, on people. people let's go on guys hey this one guys oh, it's like so it's like they were telling me yeah they it were so long guys if you could see it like i don't know how to hide the name i don't know if you can see it, can see it? but long. anyway it goes as follows i think being a christian is hard for a lot of people thank you it how is hard name? it is hard but it's nice and fun and fulfilling as you know it's like um natural to be bad so she's basically talking about that thing yoguti we were born in sin so we have sin within us yeah well and then she says sometimes Who's that? not because i, I can't tell I don't, don't say it out yes okay. and then it says that um sometimes not because we want to but that's just how it is we have a bit of sin in us i mean the bible also says that even if we don't do bad but think of bad that of bad things mm. that is a sin on its own yeah? then it says a lot of people find it really hard to follow those rules and because of that people just tend to do things astray and not according to the law so assumption number one they start using god's name in vain so the, she's assuming that Christians use God's, God's name, name in vain. vain. What do you say? Okay, first and foremost, before we continue, I just want to say with the, there's a part that she said that struck me. It's, oh shoot, I forgot. Uh, rules. Christianity is a lifestyle. Like how you, you practice being a fitness bunny or fitness whatever, and you work at it. That's what Christianity is. Until... It's just who you are. You know what I mean? Hence, my sister put it like you're working progress. You work at it. It is about sorry, sorry, sorry to cut you. Yeah. It is about rules, though, guys. Because remember, we have commandments and stuff. We have things that we need to follow. Christians can't behave a certain way. They must behave a certain way. But as long as it's biblical, not revelation, uh uh, something that's in the Bible. Yeah, but see, see where we are different. She's talking about commandments. Commandments are things like do not steal, do not end, do not cheat, do, do not, not kill, kill. And, and and for me, I'm all about love. It goes back if you love your neighbor as you love yourself, then you wouldn't want to steal from you. Exactly. You wouldn't want to like kill you. You wouldn't want to do all these things. So you still so, obey the commandments. commandments. But so now we, you're just <laughs> living in a time of grace. You're loving. Yes. But so you're Christianity, gracious. as much as it's got certain things you need to obey and abide by. It's an easier when you make it a lifestyle, a choice of living, than it being a bunch of rules and regulations. And as for the assumption, yes, stop that. Yeah, that's all I can say yes. to you. Stop <laughs> that. She's so right. Like we do. Like I'll be like, oh my god. But like, is that really using God's name in vain? Yes, it is. Or I'll be like, Christ. You know, 
I use it a lot. I know I'm guilty of this one because I use it a lot to, to exclaim. Like when I'm exclaiming and I'm shocked about something, I'm like, Jesus. I'm like, oh, God. No, but Jesus. Oh, Gosia. Oh, God. Stop yeah. using that very vain. So stop it. I'm going to. Now, this person just made me realize. You see, that's where we go. I'm being a hypocrite about this. I probably would justify myself, but I'm not going to do that now as to why I use God's name to. To In voice vain. out my shock, my shock mentation, mm. you know. But that's where I become a hypocrite because I still, do. I try. Sometimes I'll hear the the thing, you know. People always say, "Why are you using God's name?" And then I'll be like, "What? I didn't. I, didn't. I was just like exclaiming. I'm not like putting it, you know." And some people are the worst, guys. People will be like, "God said, hey, Shimo, hey, leave it." Leave it alone. God it's not did your not say. Don't say God said if it's just your opinion. Hey. If God did not reveal it to hey. you in any way, please, please, guys, it's even in the Bible. Thou shall not use the God. Lord's name in you see, you vain. See, that's how I justify it. I'm not doing that at least. No. Like, I don't be like God, putting God in things. It that doesn't are necessary. matter how you use it. As long as it's in vain, guys, it's a big no no, guys. It's a big no no. Can I get away with it? No, she can't. Ugh. Okay, let's proceed. Guys, I can't even defend this. Stop using God's name in vain. Yeah. Stop using Christ's name in vain. Stop using the Holy Spirit. I want to work at it. Okay? Just stop that. I can't even explain that. Stop that. And then it goes on to say there's just a lot of blasphemy, which has become a norm to Christians. Chimo! Hey, who is this person? Eh? Hey! You see this this particular individual? Hey! Hey! She's out to get me. It's like me when I'm leaving, um, when I'm reading the message Bible. I'm like, hey! <laughs> the insensitivity of my emotions. But it's true, cause that's why it hurts. I'm just like, who is this person? Who be By just the now? Way, we advise you to use the message. message. Bible. It's, it it it'll tell you the favorite. truth. Like it will tell you as it is. It's not gonna sugarcoat for yeah, you. Yeah, no, it's it has no time for you. for you. It has time for the truth. So assumption Christians commit a lot of blasphemy, basically. Yeah, we do. We do, guys, and we it's wrong. Do. It's completely wrong. We I totally do. agree with this. A lot of times we say, um. We do something that is against our Christian values. Yeah. But we always say, Values are early success. Yeah. Are but he, uh, does that make it right though? Like, no. When you know. Because for me, I think is if you think it, then as we said, it's already, you already sinned. sinned. So, so just do it anyway. Just say, let me just. <laughs> Continue. Hey! Because a sin is a ah, sin anyway. Ah, I don't know if what I thought about, about it. To say about let me this. just do it. Do it! <laughs> It's wrong, guys. guys. Like I'm not. I don't think I've got like a, a big explanation for that. I just just stop it. Stop like, it. Stop it. Yeah. It's, just... not, it's not okay. Work at it. Work one step at a time. And she even says we make it a norm, guys. Just stop it. I yeah, can't even no, explain. It's not right. Oh, guys, it's just out to get us. Just like we hate, and we do. Christians are haters sometimes. <gasps> okay. Christians are haters, guys. You, if you've watched um um Todd Todd. Todd's song, Unchurched Got Todd, whereby she say, he's saying that he wants to be a church, he's a church, but then the people at church are so judgmental and are full of hate. If I'm wearing a torn skirt, I know. they'll start gossiping about you. They don't know how. Guys, if you're a Christian and you go to church, please be family. Yeah. Be family with the people around you. Be family with your church members. Just spread some love, like my sissy said. Yeah, like, you know, I, I'm, I'm for that one. At some stage, yes. whilst I was going wow, through a lot in my life, I, I, I think I did encounter a situation where I didn't even... I forgot... To, I think when I was struggling to love myself, me, I failed to love the next person. Yeah. So yes. I remember a situation... I think Begins it was with you guys. second year of uni, and um, there was this girl... In course of time, which example for shit? Like you know, when someone is just like, go go maybe with the mom. It's when you have like, you have like a dark just don't cloud feel the over person. your life. I, I for the first time experienced that someone you just I just saw them and I was just like ew, like no. 
you, so it happens. you see and someone you don't so like sorry them. like i feel so bad about it i still but i try not to condemn myself about it because now i'm loving myself more i am and i don't do that anymore and like she said guys we have a sinful nature within us but then the bible says that god has given us the spirit of self-discipline yes okay and god loves people who repent if your head thinks it just always say, oh, well, I'm sorry, God. Just apologize. Here's something I learned from my mom. Shake it up. It'll Ooh. go away. Just shake Ooh. it off. It'll, I promise you it works. And it makes you dizzy, but it works. She goes on to say we end up becoming atheists. Yeah. I, no. no. I don't think so. If any Christian becomes atheist, of which they have, guys, I don't want to... Uh, If they end up not believing in God and they were a Christian, let me tell you, they, they were never, yeah, they they've never experienced, never experienced Christ. They were never mm. indoctrinated with salvation. No. Je, those people did not, Evangelic guys, if I could say it in Kosa, Zangi figure e e into Java. You know, yes, me yes. It did not go and hit the spot, guys. Belling is not that thing for you, and that's yeah, why you can quickly no. become atheist. Like I don't think you can go back so quickly, so, like back. And, and 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 being atheist is like the deep end, you know. It's the like deep end, woo! no, guys. Like no. far off. And I think with that one, also, you know, guys. I mean, when you've experienced God, it's not something you can run away from. Like even when you're hurt. The Holy Spirit is always there with you. You carry the Holy Spirit with you. Yeah. What you guys maybe call is the sixth sense or whatever. But when you've experienced God and you've heard Him and your senses have been open, even in the toughest of times, when you're just like, you're like, God, you are hurting me. Like my life is. But you still you still remember. God. You like, still you say that in prayer and you be like, I'm gonna be honest with you. My life is horrible right now. I don't feel it. Though some You're people so do say, but there is no God. There is whatever. But they are not on the deep end of being Ooh, atheists, guys. Yeah. Let's continue. That's, that one is far off. Let's continue. It says there's a whole lot of bad deeds we do or think about. We hide behind God's name, which sucks. Christians are most likely the fakest people ever. Because we try to be pure or good for other people. We forget that we got to do it for God. There's just so much I would say, but I'll end it here. Christians are evil and fake. Oh. Hey, guys. It's so tense up in here. Guys, Christians. Guys, if you're a Christian, if they are a Christ, they are Christian, sorry. They can't be evil. Good and bad goes back to the fruits guys god you says know them by the bad fruits. yes you then that person is not an actual christian if you're a christian and you still have an evil heart right. you go pray you gotta pray for yourself boo. and it goes back to those are people who are actually using god's name in vain, in vain. because when you call yourself by something that you're not your actions will forever speak yeah your truth actions speak louder what, than words what you actually are yeah. and we need to stop that because i think what what saddens me about people like that is the fact that when you find someone like you have you ever heard someone at church where you look up to and you're like this person is virtually i want to get to that level as that same person and then once they go wrong your you, whole you life slide. you know yes, your whole guys. life that's why we need to use christ as our role model guys my sister reminded me of something there was a girl in high school she was so pretty yellow bone of note very pretty very humble yeah remember she has a peaceful soul this person and then she was a christian and then guys she did something she used to go to the sco at school back in high school and then she she what she backslided of some sort because before i could i would look at her and be like oh, if this beautiful girl can serve god whomst am i because whomst am i so i was like ah, oh, i got her and then when she backslided i was like hey Hey, hey, I it's can't. Not. Exactly. But when I got to varsity and I found a good church, it was like I had to learn that God for you, God for yourself. God for me, God for myself, and that let me stop making other human beings my role models mm. on earth, especially when it comes to Christianity things. The Holy Spirit and Christ are my role models. And God said Jesus when Jesus was ascended. Huh? ascending he said he is not leaving us alone but with the holy spirit and that's just about it yeah so and and for the person if you because if you responded to the assumption 
then that means you actually watch her channel and you yes. get yourself some monday juice you get yourself some juicy deliciousness you know and all of that just please you know it will hurt less if you stop putting people in your life who call themselves christians in a pedestal yeah exclude also, those people from your life they don't bring any good. besides excluding them we are in a life of love don't exclude them but don't exclude put them, them. <laughs> don't put them in a pedestal uh, yeah. they're humans first. don't think higher of yeah, them like find god for you don't and have high capitalize on your revelation with christ capitalize on your encounter yeah. and don't look at the next person how they're serving god focus on your relationship with christ and let christ teach you how to live right Guys, the next assumption is Christians are judgmental. Again, we're not going to get into that. Let's just leave it here, guys, because this video is getting ridiculously long. So, um, please tell them your social media platform. Um, you can find me on Instagram at PLKlicious or on Facebook at Peluko D. Nile and Peluko being P-O-L-O-K-O. -O. Yeah, check me out. I'm crazy if you want crazy and upliftments check me out okay guys um please don't forget don't forget to check me out on my social media platforms as well juicy naile on instagram buleng naile on facebook and juicy naile on twitter now if you haven't hit on that subscribe button what must they do subscribe and hit on the button yes you hit on the button <laughs> Hit on the button, guys. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like this and video. And don't forget the bell. Ding, 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 ding. Hit that notification bell. And, guys, don't forget to interact with us on the comment section. Tell us, what do you think of the assumptions that have been brought to the table? Do you think they are true? Do you think they are false? And thank you for watching our channel. Oh we my god, you. you're doing great. We love you. You're doing great, oh. man. You're doing great. Very much. <laughs> Keep it up, We babe. love you. Bye.